Dark pools are dangerous places, aren't they? Not at all, not at all. So what, uh, what I think we're seeing is uh, essentially uh, the uh, modern technology uh, improving on processes that have been uh, inherent in the traded markets for many, many years. That's yes. the, essentially the uh, transfer of risk uh, at a wholesale level. So there's always been uh, a process in the upstairs markets for trading large blocks of stock. Mm -hmm. and what dark pools do is just improve on that process. That said, under uh, MIFID, we've seen a number of uh, important benefits as a result of MIFID. Increased competition, more innovation, lower costs. We do think the regulatory framework can be improved. We think that there should be greater harmonization uh, between uh, all of the uh, execution venues and, and their regulatory obligations. And we think much more work can be done in the post-trade data space yes. uh, to make uh, you know, to make it easier for uh, end users to, to, to make sense of all of the post-trade data. I mean, it used to be quite easy once. It used to be quite yeah. easy. Um, as I say, we've had these benefits uh, from MIFID. They've come at the price of greater opacity, yeah. a, a, a much more uh, complex and sophisticated post-trade environment. We think in the MIFID review, there are a number of things that can be done to improve on what we have and to create uh, a much more harmonized and level playing field. Yeah. Yeah. And what have you been? What's your involvement? Well, we're actively working with uh, the FSA and also the regulators on the continent, uh, CESA and, uh, and the European Commission itself. Uh, we, we give evidence uh, in a couple of weeks to, yeah. to them. And of course, we're working with our customers as well. There are many, many areas in which we uh, are in full agreement with our customers. I think uh, there will always be one or two areas where we where we disagree. I think we would like, as, a, as an exchange group, much more granularity in the post-trade data, yeah. whereas uh, some of our uh, customers would, would like to uh, to make sure that they can still uh, run their risk facilitation uh, processes effectively. So there will be some debate around those areas, but I think it's a positive move for the industry. All right, one last question. Is there such a thing as best execution? There is. I think the issue in Europe is that best execution will always be difficult to improve upon whilst we have fragmented clearing and settlement. Yeah. Because ultimately you have to look at the cost of a transaction holistically. That's the main difference between the US and Europe when you've still got so many clearing houses and so many CSDs. You actually look at the cost of a transaction versus the execution price and get a very, very different picture. So it can, uh, it can be improved upon. But I think there's some way away from that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.